Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using SAP Web Dyne Pro for table display and manipulation by Zaran Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zaran Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to dive into exciting topic using Web Dyne, uh, using Web Dyne Pro for table display and manipulation. Tables are crucial component for many application allowing user to view short and manipulate large set of data efficiently. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of creating dynamic tables in WebDyne Pro and displaying data. By the end of this video, you will be equipped with the knowledge of knowledge and skill to effectively use tables in your WebDyne Pro application. And let's get started. So I've created an application beforehand. And what we have done, we have created a view that is V underscore main and a window W underscore main. I've also created application for it. And I will refresh it on a browser. Okay. And let's firstly let me activate it. Because some UI elements coming here and I will refresh it. So see, this is a blank application for now. So what I will do, I will go here. I've also already created a context of ZAY tab. ZAY tab is our, our custom table. Because I'm using custom table here because I will be manipulating some record in a custom table. I will update some record with the help of our uh, application. So that's why I'm using a custom table because we do not prefer to update uh, or create some new record in a standard table directly without some permission. So I've created a context for custom table with cardinality 1 to n. And we have four fields in this uh, context node. So what you have to do, you will go to layout and you will choose root element container. And here I will go with the code, code wizard. I will choose the table from here. And I will choose context. I will choose the context node. I will choose here uh, input field because I will manu I will change some record on browser. If I will choose text view, then I will not be able to uh, change any record or manipulate any record. So I will do that and I will activate our application. One thing more, I think uh, uh, type label for table, uh, phone number is missing, missing here. What I will do, I will go here and I will give some text to our label to our phone number field in a table. And let me again activate it. Let's go to browser and see. So see, our table has been created, but there's no record. So what I will do, I will create a button, but I will not create a normal button. I will insert a toolbar and I will create a toolbar button. So you have to click on right click on table and you have to click on insert toolbar. When your toolbar is inserted, you will click on toolbar and you will choose insert toolbar element and I will give ID as button and type as toolbar button. See a toolbar button is appearing here. A toolbar button is something which appears at the top of the table. So toolbar button is coming here. So what I will do, I will give some text to this. So text is coming and in on action, I will choose an on action that is get underscore data. I've created an on action. I will show you what I have done in on action. So in on action, what I have done, well, let me remove this code. I will write this code again for you, for your understanding what I've done. I've used web brand code wizard. And I will use set operation because we want to set data with a select query. So I'll use the context node here. What we need to do is we have to write one select query, select star from ZAY underscore tab into, into corresponding fields of table. That is our table here, LTZAY tab up to up to 10 rows. And I will activate it. So I've activated application. So what I've done, we have used set operation and I have uh, call, uh, I've, uh, written a select query and I have holded the data in our LTZ tab and I have passed this LTZ tab in this. What I will do, I will go to a browser and I refresh our browser. So see a button is appearing here. I will click on get data 
so record is coming only three record is coming because there is only three record in a table so what i want to do a bit, uh, one thing more i will show you in the table first i will also show you the table that is uh, our z a y underscore tab this is our table these are the fields and these are the three records what i want to do i want to manipulate some record from here that's why i've chosen uh, input field here so if i change anything here and i will click on something then it should update the record in our database table so for that what i will do i will go to our web brand pro comp uh, web brand pro uh, component i will again insert a toolbar button one more button and i will choose toolbar button okay button id is already used i will give name as button 2 because we have already created button with btn update is then a uh, text in the text for this button what i will do one more thing is that okay i will create an on action that is update Correct. If created an on action, I will go in on action. What we need to do is we want to modify our table uh, data. So to modify our data, uh, first we have to read what we have modified on our browser. So I will go here. I will choose read operation. I will choose the context node. We will read the context node. Okay as table operation okay we have read our context node uh, sorry i think we will not be reading as table operation i will be reading it as read only i will choose a context node so yeah so we have read it we, uh, what we will give on our uh, on a browser will be stored in this lsdavi underscore tab so what what another thing which we need to do is okay uh, one thing i think we are missing is if we use okay this is only what we need to do what we will do if if lsdavi underscore tab is not initial not initial okay this will only give only one record to us what i will do i will remove this all logic i think we need to use it as a table operation only if i am correct let us do it if it does not work i will show you in other parts some other part as table operation so we will get our data in this table. Okay. I think that tab has been closed. Yeah. We are back to this tab. If LT Z A Y tab is not initial. Initial. Then what we will do? We will loop at loop at LT Z A Y tab into data ls tab I'm getting a dynamic work area here in loop in this, I will modify our ZAY underscore tab from LSB cannot modify from our internal table. That's why I'm moving it to the work area. LS tab and commit work. Commit work. 
So let's save it and let's see if any there's any error. So there is no error. I will go and activate it. So I will open the table for you. What is the record in our table? I will refresh it for once for you. And what I will do, I, what I will go to a browser and I will refresh this also. We will get some data. I will click on get and see some record is coming here. I want to change the name of ID4 is from Abhi to James and its age from 24 to 34. And number, let it be number the be the same as it is. As soon as we will click on update button, so the record should be updated, but that is not appearing here. For that, I have to refresh the table data once again. So we click on this button. So see, 04 has changed to James and age is changed to 34. So we have done the table manipulation. We have uh, we have uh, we have uh, inserted data into our table, and from our table, we have also modified our database table also. So that's all in this video. The, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.